Hello and welcome to a very special Jazz Legends. When Oscar Peterson attended the BBC Jazz Awards this year to pick up a Lifetime Achievement Award, he spent a little time chatting with Helen Mayhew for Jazz Lineup, and I now get a chance to bring you extracts from that interview. From the album exclusively from my friends, this is At Long Last Love.
the Oscar Peterson Trio and at Long Last Love. Well, Oscar's come to Britain a lot over the years. Is this one of the places he really likes? I've always enjoyed it. It's a different feel. The audience is different. They're very focused. And I think that's good not only for them, hopefully, but for the group, because you can feel it on the stage. Niels Henning Orsted Pedersen, long-standing bass player with Oscar Peterson Trio and various groups of his, unfortunately died this year rather too soon. It's interesting to see what Oscar's memories of him are. I had some very poignant memories. Uh, he saw me through a couple of diff very difficult periods of my life during some marital stress. And uh, also, when I suffered a stroke some years ago, I will admit that the night that I was supposed to come back for the first concert was in Austria, I believe. And I started to fold just before the concert in the wings. So I said, Niels, or Viking, as I used to call him, I said, Viking, I don't think I can do this. And he wasn't hearing any of that. He said, no, 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 I'm not going for that one. This you have to do. And he prodded me and prodded me, and thank God I was able to do it.
featuring Niels Henning Orsted Pedersen on the theme. That was Younger Than Springtime and the Oscar Peterson trio. Louis Hayes was on the drums. That was recorded in November 1971 in Willingen, Germany. Well, now to Oscar's current band. Well, we're very happy because we're I'm very fortunate because David Young was just voted the best jazz bassist in Canada and he's been overdue to win that award, in my book anyway. And uh, on top of that, He's very intuitive. He and Niels were great friends. They respected and loved each other. And David plays for us. He doesn't play just for himself. And on drums, Alvin Queen. Alvin we look forward to because uh, he has a natural flair for playing. Some people have that, some people don't. Alvin has it. And his guitarist. Ulf Akinius. He's a dream. Niels suggested I go after Ulf. And uh, he said, I think you'll love this guy. All I know is the first night we played together, musically he tried to run over me. So it became, <laughs> it became a battle royale every night, which I enjoyed and he enjoyed. Well, the guitar's been an important factor and color in most of Oscar Peterson's trios, where he's worked with some of the greatest guitarists in the world. A few. <laughs> Barney Kessel, God bless him. And uh, Joe Pass, the inimitable Joe Pass. He's something apart from everybody else. And, of course, Irving Ashby, Herbie Ellis. Herbie was in at the first function of the real, original Oscar Peterson trio. So this is the man who established the guitar sound in the group. (laughs) ¶¶ 